Hello, I am Pastor Robin Caldwell, Associate Pastor of St. John Lutheran Church in Joliet, Illinois. And I am excited that you're tuning in to see the story of God's greatest gift told by our Sunday school kids. Every year, the kids look forward to telling the Christmas story to all the grown-ups in our sanctuary. But 2020 is one of a kind. This year, our church Sunday school families are bringing us the story from their own homes with whatever they had on hand to tell it. And with the wonder of technology, even more people will be touched by the story of God's greatest gift to the world, who came as a baby in Bethlehem to show us how much God loves us all. Will you pray with me before we begin? Dear God, common shepherds and brilliant magi saw the amazing signs that led to the child named Jesus. Open our eyes to the signs of your presence in every child and may their leading bring us closer to your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Be sure to sing along to the Christmas carols throughout the program as you hear the good news of great joy that our Sunday school families have to share with you in God's greatest gift. was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only son, who was close to the father's heart, who has made him known.
beginning, before anything had ever been made. He was there with God. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shined in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. A long, long time ago, God gave the stars in the sky, the countless constellation, the sprawling solar system, and among it, a little planet called Earth. God made all of these things and all of the people and animals of our planet. Just over 2,000 years ago, when it was most needed, God gave another gift. God came down to be with us, to save us, and to show us how life can be lived. God could have chosen anywhere was home. God could have chosen to build a palace that would make the Roman Empire seem like nothing. But God chose to give his son to be born among the forgotten, the overlook and the poorest. This is the story of God's greatest gift. The story opens with the young woman in her home. Her name was Mary. She was from a town called Nazareth and she was engaged to be married to Joseph. Unless you look a bit deeper, there's nothing particularly important about Mary. But to God, she was very important. So important, God sent an angel Gabriel down from heaven to messenger for her. (laughs) Greetings, Mary. (laughs) You are very special. God is with you. But Mary found it hard to understand why the angel had come to see her. She was just an ordinary young woman. She worried about what the angel meant by the greeting. Seeing she was scared, the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will give birth to a baby. You will call him Jesus. You will be called the Son of the Most High. I don't understand. I'm not married yet. How can I have a son? The Holy Spirit will come and give you a baby. People will call him the Son of God. I am the servant of God. I believe what will happen as you say. Joseph was a simple man, a carpenter. He was exhausted for working all day and worrying about the new baby that Mary was going to have. He was not so sure he wanted to marry Mary anymore. So... Gabriel had to tell him who this baby was and how important it was for them all to be together. Joseph, Joseph, don't be afraid to get married to Mary. Her baby is from the Holy Spirit, and it's a boy. What an unforgettable dream. Oh yeah, one more thing. You are to name him Jesus because he will save God's people from their sins. Uh, Okay, are you ready for this, Mary? Ready when you are.
everyone must register themselves in their hometown. Joseph went from the town called Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised to marry him. When they arrived in Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph knocked on every door in the town. They were looking for a place to stay, but everywhere was full of people. We've traveled so far, our journey's been long. But now we're in Bethlehem, where we belong. I'm full of frustration. Did you have a reservation? Joseph, wait, look, look, over there. An innkeeper? Mary, should we dare? Can you please help us? We got no place to stay. There isn't room here. You must go away. At each end, they were given the same answer. Lots of people came down to be counted, so the whole town was full. There are many families that to accommodate. Mary and Joseph nearly gave up. We've got a place where you can all sleep. The stable so warm and the hay so deep. Moo! It's clean and it's dry, with no sign of danger. When your baby is born, it can rest in our manger. If it's okay with the animals, it's okay with us. During the journey, Mary was nearly ready to give birth to her baby. Although tired and weary, they were grateful for somewhere for the baby to be born. While they were in Bethlehem, it was time for Mary to give birth, deliver to her child. And she gave her birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in cloth bands of cloth and laid him in the manger. It's a boy! Jesus! Stable for a bed. What's that I hear? The cry of baby Jesus. Oh, oh so, so dear. dear. The angel said Jesus would be called Son of the Most High. This was a very difficult place to bring a baby into the world. I'm not sure if this was what the, they expected, but as Mary looked at the sleeping baby in the manger, she knew he was a precious gift. Meanwhile, in the fields nearby, a group of sheep were grazing. We eat, 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 and we sleep, sleep, sleep. Live on the hills because we're fine sheep. We are gentle, kind shepherds, keeping sheep safe at night. If there's a wolf, we'll fight, fight, fight. Our wool is curly and our ears are small. We don't have any tails at all, all, all.
A group of shepherds were keeping watch over their sheep. It was night time, and they had a long day in the hills, so they laid their heads down to rest. They were surprised, to say the least, to see the Lord, the angels of the Lord, appear right in front of them. The glory of the Lord shone all around the shepherds, and they were terrified. You see, these shepherds were just ordinary people going about their day, daily lives. They were, weren't considered very important. Nobody took much notice of them, so they were surprised when the angel spoke to them. Wake up, wake up, there's no time to waste. The baby is born, of course it will make haste. Well, if this wasn't enough for the humble shepherds to take in, the angels was soon joined by a huge group of angels. They're called the heavenly host. They said, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth! Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth! What did awake me? With fear I am shaken. Do not be afraid, we have great news of joy. Do you think we can see this new baby boy? Look at him there, asleep in the hay. Let us give thanks as we kneel here and pray. Later, more people came to visit, but they didn't come straight to the stable. These three important people, sometimes called kings, sometimes wise men, were magi. Magi is the same word when we use when we say magic. And these were very clever people who knew all the secrets of the stars. They knew from examining the heavens that it would be an important event taking place. A bright star rose in the sky. May all who are looking find peace everlasting. Stars are now gleaming, shows God is now living. Baby who's born, who now breathes among us. Is God's greatest gift to the world all around us? Look at the star. It can only mean one thing. The baby is born! He is the king! We'll take him to some presence, a sight to behold. Take him some frankincense, myrrh, and some gold. And they followed it to worship the person whose birth it foretold. They knew that the star heralded the king of the Jews. And where would a king be born? They went straight to the palace, but they didn't find him there. Then they saw the bright star ahead of them again, and they followed it until they stopped. The Magi found the child, and they worshipped him. Each brought their own special gift to give to baby Jesus. And that's why we give gifts on Christmas, because we have been given a miraculous gift. And every year, people retell the story of the birth of Jesus. This story reveals something very special about God, that he loves us so much he came to live among us. We give good gifts to one another, especially during this Christmas season because God has given us the greatest gift. In the Christmas story, the shepherds were watching over their flocks by night while the angels watched over the shepherds. Angels today still watch over people who are vulnerable and left out in the cold. So for this year's Christmas program special offering, we invite you to donate items or money to support Guardian Angel Community Services of Joliet. 
their shelter and services empower women and children to escape domestic abuse and begin their lives again. So please go to their website, www.gacsprograms.org to pray that their needs are met and to consider what gift you have to offer. Thank you for your generosity. And thank you to all the kids and families who participated in our Sunday School program this year. Thank you to Don McGregor and Ellen Goodwin who put all the audio and video recordings together. And thank you for joining us for this joyful rendition of God's greatest gift. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And Merry Christmas. Thank you.